This is Bogey Bridge. It's located behind the woods on campus housing and has been a frequent hangout spot for kids near Coastal's campus. That's because the campus is tobacco free and the bridge connects to off campus property where they can smoke. Coastal student Quan McDaniel says he used to be one of those people. That is, until this gate was installed. This gate, this gate just messes everything up. Like I'll have to go all the way over there over like this makeshift bridge, sketchy bridge, just to smoke a cigarette. And like it's it's pointless. But Dean Travis Overton says there is a point: safety. The campus Department of Public Safety has been reporting problems of loitering and illegal activity in that area by both students and non-students. So to address the problem, the property owners worked with the university and built this gate. And now, Overton says it's closed overnight from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. to help discourage illegal activity and campus violations. We have liability as an institution when we are aware that incidents are taking place somewhere on our campus. So we are responsible for taking steps to reduce those incidents from occurring and that in, in turn is where the gate came in as the next option. But freshman smoker Brandon Mitchell says the tobacco-free policy is already an inconvenience to his habit and he feels the university is forcing him to quit. And from doing that for five plus years, it's just hard to do drop on a dime and that's what I feel Coastal expects me to do as becoming a student and committing to the education here, to the lifestyle, to do everything. I feel like they just expect me to drop on a dime nicotine when it's really harder than that. But Overton says Coastal is a tobacco-free institution and the university's job is to keep students safe, not accommodate smoking off campus. And anyone attempting to access the bridge during the restricted hours could face university policy violations or criminal actions. In Conway, Damian Utes, CCU News.